Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So what we're going to do today is alcohol ink. And you know, I've been playing with alcohol ink for a while. Uh, Secret has done a couple on her channel as well, which I will link down below. She has some cool things going on over there. So I got asked and I get asked this a lot. If I don't have Yupo paper, Yupo paper, Yupo, whatever, um, which is glossy paper, what do I use? And I've done everything from uh, Mod Podge uh, clear coat to varnish to whatever uh, to work on top of. But what we're going to do today is we are going to use vellum. And what vellum is, is a Clancy touch for reports and invitations, but it's a translucent, translucent sheet. And it's a little, let's see, a little glossy, but you can see, you can see through it. And I did a paper. Let me show you a couple of these I've done. I'm going to put these up for my, on my website. I'll let you know uh, for you guys to download for free. That's the other one I was playing with, but I'm going to do something on top of that, I think. But here is the uh, translucent paper and this is with nothing underneath of it uh, so you can see it's gorgeous it's like glass so this is a whole fun thing uh, by itself now I had seen somebody Teresa Kovalak is her name I want to give her credit because uh, I've not seen anybody else do it but she has used glasses like she would put like a glass and then do around it and blow and all mine did not come out that great however um, I enjoyed doing it and, you know, I might do it again, but, uh, it gives you a little bit of structure, but I like the funkiness, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to have some funky times. So I have my <clears throat> piece of vellum and what I did was I threw down gesso on the back or white, uh, acrylic paint, whatever you have on the back or on the one side. And then I dried it. Now be careful when you dry it, <laughs> it will wrinkle up. So you want to make sure that you put like things on the corners so it doesn't wrinkle up. You know, is it the worst thing in the world? It could be because it's a pain in the ass to unwind. But what I'm going to do is take some of this delightful washi tape. Just because I don't know what it's going to do. And I want it to stay pretty, pretty flat. Okay, so and you don't need much. It's just, it's just to help. So when I start, what the heck? Look at this. What is that? Um, when I start playing, it doesn't move. Okay. It's a wonder I have any nails on. Okay. So you can see that's it. It doesn't have to be too, too much, but once it gets wet, it starts to, um, move around and it's not what you want. Okay. All right, so you see that's where we're at. The painted side is underneath. So we still have this side. Okay, so now I have some alcohol in a little spray or I have, I have, where did you go? Oh my goodness, Kelly. I'm a mess, oh, I'm a mess. I did have blending solution, but the gods only know where that went. So we're gonna just spray. Just a little bit. I don't need too much. I'll push that down. I can't. Oh, here it is right in front of my face. It's a blending solution as well. And this does not want to stick over here. Sorry, but you're going to have to have a two. Two. Just a little. Oh. Washi well, tape sometimes really stinks. Okay. And I don't mean smells like bad. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm going to start with yellow. I do believe my yellow is bad because it comes out like mustard, but the color, but it's all right. And I'm just going to throw it down. Let's concentrate here. And I have a dropper. Put a little drop of alcohol in. Now here's what's going to happen. It's going to still bubble up a little bit unless you really, if I had my uh, painter's tape, I would really have flattened this, but it, puddles and that's okay because that's you work that for your advantage use it for your advantage because then i can go in with some you know it mixes great colors i'm working on a mixed media 
um, book that I taped it on because I want to be able to lift it up. So let me show you. I'm just going to do some dribbles. Now I love, I love, love, love painting with uh, alcohol ink. If you'd like to see me do a painting, let me know. But my heart is mixed media. So I'm going to move it around, let it drip and drop. Now what she did was, what uh, Teresa did was she took, let me grab my, she took this and she kind of like set it down. So as it like puddled, it kind of went around there. You know what I'm saying? So let's just do that. There. Let's pretend. And she, like I said, I will link her video because I'm not doing what she did justice. She did a gorgeous job, but. It's not really what I was going for, but I wanted to try it, if that makes sense. And I love it. And I might use it another time, but well, I'll just show you kind of just to wet your whistle for what she did. Now, I want to leave a little bit more white than I did here, um, which it's translucent, so it doesn't, I mean, you can still see through it, but I think I want more, I don't know. I'll decide. I'll decide when I get there. Let's do a purple like this. Oh, look at that. Now I'm going to take, this is water. I got to start marking these things. Yeah, water. And you see how it's blown out? Now I'm going to take my alcohol and look what it does. We get this really great kind of I just want it to run a little bit so they mix. Okay. See how you get this gradation of like the pink of the, the base of the purple comes out like that pink against the white, the purple, all the shades. It's delightful. The red is not exactly my favorite, but let's try this color. It's like a magenta. I'm going to go right there and do the same thing with some drops here. And this time I'll use some blending solution to blend. Again, you can use alcohol, it doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna use, I, ca I know which one's water because I kept the lid on, but I can never know. I have, to get, I have to get a black permanent marker because I gotta know, I am so blind as I'm getting older, even though I got glasses, I have to mark where the little um, spray thing is because otherwise, I don't know if I'm the only one that gets sprayed in the face. And I don't enjoy that. Okay. I know you're like a lot of water, but it is. But then I'm gonna blow it. I do enjoy a good blow and I'm gonna get all those colors down there get these colors around here now do you see they move fantastically if I had if I had <laughs> with it my like where I could blend oh is this it oh come here sis okay let's see I don't know what's on here but let's see if we can blend because you can blend just like it's um I just want to kind of dab up some of these colors but you see how you can definitely blend it and spread it out if you want. We're really trying to edit the spreading, if you know what I'm saying. Not allowed to say the word. Okay. But you see what I'm saying, right? So you could use a makeup thing, whatever. But what I wanted this for was because I want to turn it and knock everything over. I'm going to clean this desk off today, I promise. I have so many things going on, which I always do. But I think today I'm going to do it. Okay, so I'm going to turn it this way so we can see down here. I'll push that down. I'm going to just 
but you can see how smooth. Look, I can do it with my finger. That's what she said. Okay, so I want some yellow. This is the alcohol pearl ones. They're not my favorite, but I want to show you something cool with them. All right, I'm going to put some around here. Watch what happens when water hits this. Um, watch, watch it. Oh, I didn't do nothing. My hole's plugged. Oh, it didn't do it. Oh, it does the coolest thing where it jumps. But let's see if it does it now. Let me put them in there now. Well, let's do purple. Maybe you can see it better. Let's see. I'm gonna double it up. I'm going to spray it with some water. Nope, that ain't doing it either. Oh well, <laughs> that's a lot. Let's just go like this. Let's just twirl it all together and add some blue because we need blue down here. Yeah, see, that's the old alcohol ink right there. No pearl. The pearl has the pearls are beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Okay. Um, however, they just have a different property to them, and that's okay. I mean, they're they have their use. Just not what I want it for. Now it's separated. I don't know why. Look at this. This is, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I'm going to dry some of that. I'm going to put a little blending solution here just to lighten this up. Let's see if that does. Yeah, it's lightening it. I'm going to take my brush in there. Let's see if I have any alcohol in here. Yeah, just to make it dribble. Okay. Come on. I'm going to push this forward a little bit. And then add a little bit more blending solution. I'm going to kind of brush this back. I tell you what, alcohol ink has come such a, you know, with so many people out there playing and sharing what they do, you can really do some good stuff um, with it. Like I said, painting and, and using it in different ways. So I think we need a lighter color here. I'll just use regular yellow. To break that up and then I'm gonna leave it run down into that purple okay I'm gonna hold on to this and I'm just gonna tip it and then something I like to do is because it's like getting to be poopy brown and that's all right but I'm just gonna dab it a little bit just to get that poopiness up can you see maybe you like the poopy brown and you could because it has the different colors in it, but I just don't necessarily want the poopies. Who does? Nobody really. Okay. All right. And I'm still leaving that there. I'm not gonna, we're gonna see what it does. But now I'm gonna turn it again. I'm just gonna slide it. Cause I wanna get it from all angles, but you don't have to do this. You can just do one way. I like to go always because I'm that kind of girl. But I want some, I want some white. And this is white. And I'm just gonna like do like this. Right? And it'll blend where it's still a little wet and it'll lighten it up a little bit. And I'm not mad. I'm just gonna give it a quick. So whatever one, whatever moves, moves. You know what I'm saying? And then I think we need a little blue down here. So I'm going to take my mister and mist it there just to moisten. What a crappy word, moisten. And then drop it like that. Drop it like, I can't. Can't do it. Can't sing. And then, yeah, look at that. 
It's not pretty. Okay. I'm not gonna keep you much longer just so we can. So I'm gonna just turn this a little bit. I don't know why. She says turn it. So I'm turning it. And I'm gonna just hit this real quick. See what we get. Bam. A brown hole. <laughs> And put it there okay this is my bowl off my altar <laughs> i figured it would give me good luck i gotta cleanse it that's all right needed cleansed anyway so now i'm going to take my blending solution and just kind of lighten that up because that's that's not enjoyable and just go around that circle i'm not gonna add any more color I mean, what did I expect mixing all the colors, right? But what I am going to do is I'm going to take my abracadabra, abracadabra, and we're going to dab. Dab and fly Angie. Dab and fly Angie. And just tap it. And you could tap it more if you want more. Now, what am I feeling about this? I think, oh. Didn't mean to touch it like that. I think I need some blue in there. So I'm going to go around like that. Oh, look at that blue. I think up here too. Oh, yeah. But some orange. I have a lot of purple and pink down here. I should probably add the littlest bit up here. Let's do it. Like that. Let's spray her. Some alcohol, some water. I think it's water. The guards only like, know, but it's okay. Now, remember you're working with alcohol. So, you know, if you're hitting it with your heat gun or your hair dryer to dry it, make sure you're in a well ventilated area, especially with kids. Make sure you're in a big room and not in a tiny little room like I am. All right, so I'm gonna dry it. Let's take this crappy. I mean, it did enough, but not as like what I wanted it to do. It didn't hold it the best. That's all right. It held it enough, right? I'll just have to get my tape. Now, I'm going to show you the difference. And you saw that moved beautifully, not like, reg like on regular paper, which I'll show you for everybody new out there. But look at the differences. Same paper. You just painted the back with white paint or whatever color you want. You can get these with a coupon at Michael's or wherever. Uh, you could get these very inexpensive. Uh, at state, these are from Staples. You get fifty of them. Um, but look at your, you know, Michael's and Joann's and all that in the section. Maybe they have um, vellum, but you could get it in a, you know, whatever. Just search it. Look on Staples in them. Always having sales and it's a lot cheaper than you both. So, I mean, look, this came out so pretty. Now I could put gold on here. I can, you know, put whatever uh, I want. I don't know if my gold is going to give me what I want because my gold's kind of old. So I'm going to give it a quick shake and see if I can add a little bit of bling up here. Let's see what happens. 
just going to kind of touch certain places just to give a little shine. And then I will give a squirt because we want it to run a little bit. I don't know where I did it else at. Right there. I think that's it. And it'll just add a nice sheen. Baby, move it. All right, the shine's gone a little bit, but got a little gold going on there. Now you see that there's like little spots where it's like where it dripped and it might be. So what I like to do is when I think it's almost dry, I will go and just do this and it just takes those tips off I don't really enjoy the tips at the moment like I don't I can see them and they're not yeah that's better but you see what I'm saying like I can see a little bit here it just has to dry the way but we got this beautiful piece of paper now so we have this same paper as this and we got two looks two looks and like I said, this is it on regular paper. I was playing with that, but you could see it's very matte. You can do it, but it's very matte. Let me do, I'll show you real, real quick, just for those who, this is just a regular piece of uh, mixed media paper, nothing major. And I'll just go in with a spray of alcohol because I want it to be a little wet. And I'm just gonna, we'll just play right in the middle. Gonna give it some of that. So you could still definitely use this on whatever paper you have at home. It just soaks in very quickly. So then I would take my water and just moisten that area that I'm gonna work in, just so it stays a little bit more and maybe even take a little bit more alcohol, a little bit of red. Now these are our primaries, so we can mix these and get some other colors. Let's use our blending solution now. I'm just gonna drip it. Gonna give it a second. I'm gonna help it move. This is another thing. You could tell I did it on the other one. I'm not gonna put a cup. I used my um, tea light on my last one. Maybe I'll do it here. Wait, let me do a little bit more alcohol here just to get it moist and then I'll do a little bit of the purple in there. I'll take my brush if I can get it and I'm gonna just kind of move it around and then I'll put this on there. We'll do a small one. Okay. Now you can see on here, I don't know how well, but you can see I have some white on here where I gessoed the other paper and that gives you very cool texture. So don't forget that. Let me show you. We'll do it right here so you can see what I'm talking about. I'll give it a chance to dry and then I'll show you. I could sit here for hours and show you all the things I've learned with different supplies. <laughs> That's why I do my videos. Um, and lately I've been obsessed with, uh, I, resin of course, and I've been obsessed with, um, let's do it here. Alcohol ink, watercolor, 
Gosh, what else am I not obsessed with? Alcohol, ink, resin, watercolor. Okay. So now I like to kind of give it some texture because it's going to pick up on that. Okay. So we'll leave that dry for a second. And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to drag it while it's wet. So it comes down here a little bit. But look, I want to show you before I do this. Look at that underneath there. That's all gesso. So, I mean, you're given a resist in a sense for this. All right, we're going to put that there. I'm going to film my, oh my God, I, got, I don't want to keep this video too long. I could just sit here and talk and do this all night. Maybe I'll do a live stream. Put my alcohol. This is 91% alcohol I got from Rite Aid, in case you're wondering. It's what we use for our nails and all. So I always have it around. I think I have three big bottles. And then I'm going to squirt here. And now I'm going to do, I want to do a color that's going to like engulf that. Maybe if I do yellow, it'll mix enough. Oh, my yellow is almost gone. I use this with my resin, so it's always. Some of that. And then some green. And let's blow. And what the blowing does too, use a hair dryer. You don't have to use a heat gun. Um, just while I'm sitting here, but it blends it for you too. And you can see I got this coming out here. So why not put some green in there? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just kind of move it around like this. But what happens, let me show you the difference between this and I hate when the little knobbies come off. What happens is like, you see where you put it down, it sucks in the paper because there's no protection. The vellum itself, it does, it doesn't uh, do that. It doesn't leave these marks. I don't care about these marks. They're fine for me. Um, but you know, it depends on what you're going for. So I'm going to move this around. I'm going to see if blending, if I can get this to move because it's in the paper, so I'm going to go like that. Let's see. Uh, a little bit. It doesn't lighten up too much, but if I put a little yellow, will it make green? <laughs> kind of soaked in. It did lift it a little bit, the blue, but you see the difference. And it's not like this is a bad thing because I do like these. Um, you know, it depends on what you're, what you're going for to what you want. So we'll do that around there. And then some of this crooked water. To lift it. I'm not doing nothing. I'm gonna have to soak that. That's what happens when those dry with uh, stuff, paint or whatever. I just uh, soak in the hot water. Now, something I would do with this because it's bothering the crap out of me is I would probably take some white and like kind of move it around and you see it's soaking in pretty quick. So I'm going to take my alcohol blending solution. I got from Sherry and we're going to see if I can run some of that there.
I'm just going to lighten it. Like, so the blue's in the back, but I can build on top and still have that blue, if that makes sense. So now I can go in with some red. And you see, so then that blue's in the back. We still got our... And we're moving. I'm going to move it this way. So you just get some blending. Some blending. And that did nothing. Again, I'm not, I'm just playing. But that, you could see, like, it kept the underneath. So that's what it does. So we have, like, this, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but we'll leave that there. Let's blow this, and then I'm going to show you over there, and then I'm going to let you poor people go. Okay, so let's turn you this way. Oh, no, let's, we'll, do, we'll keep it like that. All right, so this is the gesso. So what I'm going to do, take some of the water. Just squirt it a little bit. And I'll use some of my teal. Watch it run. Put some alcohol. Ooh. And watch what's going to happen. I'll help it along because. Oh, I got an elephant there. And a baby elephant. Are you even kidding me? Look. <laughs> I have a mama elephant and a baby elephant right there. <laughs> Am I the only one that does that? Probably. All right. So now let's watch as I move it around on the paper I'm gonna wet it a little bit and what happens is that gesso from underneath so if you do a stencil and use gesso as your stencil and you go and you put a little bit of alcohol or water on your what happens is it kind of gives it that see it underneath I've got to finish drawing a little bit but it gives you that uh grunge kind of look. So what I'll do is I'll do a uh, ATC card with that kind of thing and show you how I would do it. Uh, but that's just, you know, ideas. But like I said, this is on your regular paper. You can see it's very dense, very, you, if you do this, which is completely fine, just don't concentrate as much as I did because I love doing big blobs anymore. That's my kind of thing with everything. Um, so I have like all this to work with, but uh, you could see that it really concentrates and you can see I got it. It did lift this. So if I put another, if I put this here and I take some of my blending solution and kind of put it around there and then let's blow it. it. Might do better with some alcohol though, since it's already in there. Oh, what the heck, let's do some water. Just wanting to move it. Look at this, how great that is. Let's see. So you see how that's coming now? You can see the line like all underneath here. So if I dry it all the way, You can see it right there. So it goes around. So you can definitely move it and, you know, lighten it up a little bit. But that's that. So anyway, 
that's what I ended up doing on another paper, playing around on here. We've got our vellum right here, which is completely dry, but uh, this is where we did not paint underneath at all. And then this was painted with just so very poorly too, uh, because I wanted it to have like a little bit of dimension. You could do it completely, but then you have this piece. So you can really have fun and play alcohol ink on vellum, the faux yupo of today. Uh, so yeah, so as always, please be kind to each other. You never know about us. Somebody else is fighting. Please, I have links down below if you want to join my membership. Uh, there are different variations of, um, you know, membership fees that you get different kind of things if you would like to join. Also, don't forget to check out my husband's YouTube channel where he paints. That is link is down below as well as my Etsy, where else to find me on the internet and where to subscribe. So I love you guys. And as always... I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.